So Christopher Dorner is still on the loose. The crazed former L.A. cop and Navy reservist had posted a manifesto elaborating on his murderous revenge. I read the whole thing. It rambled and it spewed. It was like an eight-hour bus ride with Oliver Stone. <laughs> Seriously, if this guy doesn't shoot you, he could bore you to death. Meanwhile, most of the media ignores Dorner's pro-gun control sentiment. You can bet if this manifesto had gone the other way, it would be shouted from the rooftops, probably by Piers Morgan. More important, Dorner, who may have killed three people, including a fellow police officer, has fanatical supporters all over the web, populating Twitter with hashtags like Go Dorner and uh, We Are All Chris Dorner. At least in the good old days, these morbid knuckleheads would wait for the killers to get to death row before they fell in love. Not anymore. So why is this? Well, this mentality which recasts evil as cool is the mindset that gave us the Manson family, that enables murderers to marry in prison, that drives celebrities to embrace tyrants, and has movies that make killers look way prettier than the victims. It's why actual adults can wear Che Guevara shirts, another mass murderer who trained firing squads to execute men, women, and children. How long before Dorner gets his own Che shirt? In an abysmal, shallow culture that falls into bed with every revolutionary like an empty-headed groupie, I think I'll make the first one. That'll be $16. Who says you can't make a buck off the suffering of others? Oh, my gosh. Oh, mean.